Chapter 30 After debriefing, Billy met Wilkes in a conference room nobody seemed to be using. There were view screens on the wall, but Billy didn't feel much like looking at anything. He deserved it, Wilkes said. I only wished it could have been us who did it. We've been blowing around in circles for a while, kid. Haven't been much a part of the solution. I know. Then again, Spears wasn't much help either. Billy shook her head. You know, crazy as he was, I was almost hoping maybe he could pull it off. I mean, I hated him for what he was, for what he did. But in a strange kind of way, I kind of wanted him to make it. Maybe I'm as crazy as he was. Not quite. Big deal. Now we're back where we were before. The monsters rule Earth. Billions of people are dead. And the rest are all waiting for their turns. And there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it. That's a bad attitude. Somebody said from the doorway. Billy turned and looked. A woman stood there. Tall, thin, hair chopped short, wearing shippers coveralls. Do we know you? Wilkes said. I don't think we've met before, the woman said. But Billy recognized the face. It took a few seconds to remember where she'd seen her before. It had been back on the station, in the communications room. She'd been on one of the old casts. Ripley, Billy said. You're Ripley. The woman gave them a brief, small smile. That's right. You're supposed to be dead, Billy said. From what I hear, so are you two. The universe is just full of surprises, isn't it? She grinned again, a little larger. Damned if that ain't so, Wilkes said. I think we have a few things in common, Ripley said. Maybe we ought to sit down and talk. It was Billy's turn to smile now. I think maybe you're right, she said. Ripley was right, after all. The universe was just full of surprises. This concludes my reading of Aliens, Nightmare Asylum. Thank you for listening. To be continued with Book 3, The Female War.